we have uh, XW2B, which is the next satellite moving in. And this uh, XW2B is, uh, we hear the beacon right now. And by the way, I will post a video a little later on for those that wonder as to where to get the best list of amateur radio frequencies that you can have. It is updated regularly and it is really amazing. Uh, we'll be posting the link to that fantastic list. So um, XW2B beacon on 145725 and the amateurs on 730 to 750. First, you don't hear anything. What you do, you go back, you uh, listen in to the beacon. You uh, can, uh, of course, pretty much know the strength of the signals you might receive by the strength of the beacon itself. So uh, as the beacon gets stronger, you know there's more chances. You know, one of the things I also look at is, you know, the trace of the signal. The more it has land, so the more it is, for example, over North America, the chance, the more. Uh, the, the higher the chances of actually getting a signal because amateur radio operators don't live in the middle of the sea, they live on the land. So you gotta really understand that.
As I see here, the beacon is still uh, received, so that means there's still possibility of a signal. So this is uh, XW2B, 2 Bravo. And uh, one of the interesting satellites to listen to. Of course, you need single sideband on your VHF, uh, UHF receiver or transceiver. Uh, that's very important to know. Beacon, but it's rather weak. Uh, more videos coming, guys, because the next one coming up here for me is the XW2F and then follows XW2C. And this is what is really cool and amazing about these Chinese satellites is the fact that when you get a pass from the first one, you get a series of satellites and they're all in the same general vicinity of two meters. So you can actually just, you know, spend an hour listening to these signals and it's really amazing to listen to them so hope you're having fun and hope that um, you know you can listen to them for those that wonder what antenna i'm using very very basic antenna it's a mobile vertical that's on top of a metal shed uh in the backyard on a third store under the third floor the top floor of where i live and uh, it's a very simple antenna so if you have a more specialized antenna you actually can receive these signals even stronger than I am. So it's kind of cool. So it seems like we lost the satellite. Don't forget about the Doppler shift moving the signals down. So uh, satellite's pretty much gone. So the next video is going to be XW2F coming up in about 10-15 minutes here. So hope you enjoyed this series of, of videos on this uh, these Chinese satellites.